My name is Greg Lavelle. I represent the 11th representative district and it's northern Newcastle County. The, the line goes from DuPont Country Club up into Claymont. When I got out of college and uh, you know, bought my first home and was really in a community and see what the needs are from fixing streets to dealing with you know, kids who maybe sort of run on the streets, uh, that really stepped up my involvement. And then really the more you got involved, the more you get involved. I've been on the board of Girls Incorporated of Delaware. I was on the board for seven years. I was president for two years. Uh, I was on the board of Westside Health, which is a federally quali federal qualified community health center in Wilmington. Actually, it has four locations across the state now, so it's just a great organization. There's lots of issues that inspire me, but, you know, and some of them are sort of corny political things at this point. Meaningful, but uh, I, I have a son who's disabled and, and fairly significantly disabled. Uh, he's 11 years old. He's very limited verbally. He's, uh, you know, needs help with lots of different things. And so to see him and to see the, particularly the way my daughter interacts with him uh, is inspiring to me. Uh, and then as a result of some of his disabilities, uh, it just puts us, uh, by definition, in contact with other families, many of whom have s much more severe challenges that we face. Uh, over the years, he spent a lot of time at AI DuPont Hospital for Children, and you go and you see the cancer patients, and you say, well, geez, you know, my problems are de minimis uh, compared to what some of these families go through and the challenges that they have. And you see, you know, the families at Ronald McDonald House, and you feel blessed uh, to live so close to such a great facility that actually saved my son's life, quite frankly. Uh, and so that's inspiring to me. I'm not afraid of partisan politics. I mean, our country is built on differing ideas and differing challenges. And, and really when the concern to me would be is when you don't have uh, positive partisanship. Because you look at countries that do not have partisan politics and they're run by dictators and tyrants. Uh, and you lose your life and your liberty and your property when you speak out against the government. So as the minority leader in the House of Representatives here in Delaware, you know, it's, it's my responsibility to, to compliment the governor when he deserves to be complimented and to raise issues when that should be done and to talk about ethics and corruption and those types of things and to do it proudly and vocally. And to the credit for the governor and others, they recognize that. I mean, we all have positive roles to play. Uh, now, the partisanship, when it gets petty or paralyzing, uh, is certainly a problem, and perhaps we see that in Washington at a level we certainly don't, I don't experience here in Delaware. Uh, but, you know, we shouldn't, in a democracy, be afraid of politicians, because we need politicians uh, in a democracy, and we shouldn't be afraid and condemn just for the sake of condemnation partisanship, because it, it makes the product better. Well, I, I certainly know. appreciate the frustration and the sit-ins and sort of the Occupy movement, maybe sort of what you're getting at, and, and that frustration with economic uh, stagnation or reduced economic opportunity, which is probably uh, the, the, uh, the legitimate voice behind the Occupy movement. I think the system is, is, is what it is and we can fix it or ch tweak it or change it. Uh, but my concern sometimes is when you hear, you know, we have to change the system. Well, what, into what? <laughs> now, you may want a better economy. You certainly want better schools, better opportunities and all those types of things. But, you know, I think the system with all its faults and problems at the end of the day is a system that will allow that to happen because of the engagement that people should get involved with. Well, uh, the two, two secrets that I've always kept tight to the vest is uh, I was and am a huge Grateful Dead fan. I've probably been to, uh, before they stopped touring, or at least in, as the Grateful Dead in the mid-90s, about 80 or 90 shows. My favorite TV show is The Simpsons. So uh, actually, much to my wife's consternation, watch it with my daughter on a regular basis and have, now she's 13, but it, it's a great show, a lot of fun. So it, it brings in culture and politics and stereotypes, good, bad, and and ugly, so it's a, it's a fantastic show, a lot of fun.